The biggest trend in debt among baby boomers is maintaining a home mortgage during their retirement. Financial advisors warn that this new trend could have serious lifestyle consequences for seniors. With me today is nationally recognized retirement expert, Tom Hegner. Tom is a best-selling author with two retirement books entitled, Don't Worry, Retire Happy, and Paychecks and Playchecks. Tom also recently hosted the PBS special, Don't Worry, Retire Happy. Welcome to On The Money News, Tom. Thanks, Steve. I have to say we're the first generation, the baby boomers, were carrying our mortgage into retirement. That's never happened before. Well, think about it. Our parents typically bought one house. They lived there their whole lives. They paid it off, and it was a priority to pay off the house. Baby boomers, because of low rates, they've typically moved up two or three or four times. They've got two or three or four different houses, and it hasn't been a priority. They've spent more money than our, than our parents did. And, uh, you know, we've gone through two market crashes, which has significantly impacted the baby boomers. Well, when I'm thinking about carrying a mortgage into retirement, what are the risks of doing that? Well, the risks are that, that you become injured, you become sick, that there's not the money to pay it. Uh, or that you're trying to retire and you don't have enough income. And so you've got to make sure you've got adequate income in retirement. If I retire and I'm carrying a mortgage into my retirement, is there any way to mitigate that cost? Well, some of the things are you could pay your mortgage, uh, simple things, pay your mortgage twice a month instead of once a uh, month. How many years does that actually That, that can cut off a few years. If, if you're earning more, you could do a 15-year mortgage instead of a 30-year mortgage. Mm -hmm. You could just send extra money into your principal. There's several things you can do. Refinance to a lower interest rate if, if you're able to. Why do you think they're calling the baby boomer, my generation, why are they calling us the sandwich generation? Well, it's really a triple-decker sandwich because we're worried about our parents who are now needing long-term care. We'll, we're still taking care of our kids and making sure they're going mm. through college at the same time that baby boomers are worried about their own retirement. So it's kind of a triple-decker sandwich. So they're, paying, they're worried about their parents and long-term care needs. They're worrying about their children. They're still paying tuition, and we're still carrying a mortgage into retirement. Right, exactly. Well, in your PBS special, you suggested a hybrid retirement, and I thought when I was going to retire, I'm retiring, but you say the new trend is kind of doing this hybrid working and retiring at the same time. Yeah, see, too many people are trying to retire too early. They haven't saved enough money. And I would rather see somebody work from 60 to 65, even 60 to 70, than to work, have to work from 75 to 95. And unfortunately, the latter is going to happen to too many people. If you can work just a few extra years, it can increase the success of your retirement by over 50% because it can increase your earnings, increase your savings, and increase your Social Security Just a little side note, Tommy, because the longevity of Americans that was moving up the line. I mean, we're talking 85, 90, 95. Yeah. We may need to do it a hybrid just to pay for those extra years. Yeah, and I think a lot of people want to. Brain scientists say how important it is to stay mm -hmm. mentally engaged. Well, you recommend that seniors delay Social Security benefits till age 70. Why is that? Well, the breadwinner. So if you've got a husband and wife, if the husband made more money than the wife, the husband uh, should wait till 70. Why? Because his check covers both lives. The wife, if her income was lower, she can start her benefit at 62. Now, a lot of people say, Tom, I, I've been paying and paying. I want to do some getting. Look, I'm not saying you can't retire at 62. What I'm saying is you, sh you shouldn't take that Social Security check at age 62. So build an income bridge, work with a financial uh, professional, and, and use some other money. Use your IRA money, your 401k money, some CD money to build a bridge from 62 to 70. I find it shocking, Tommy, that a third of all the baby boomers do not have a retirement plan. Why is this so important? It's, it's a foundational plan in, in my public TV special. You've got to have a plan. How can you get anywhere if you don't have a roadmap or a plan of how to get there? And with that, I say you've got to use a financial professional. Retirement is not a do-it-yourself project.